Hello ladies and gents, this is another video by Ant Hood. Feedback from my first video, a tour of my ant cave. People are interested in my Nikos, so this video is going to be about my Camponotus nicobarosis. You guys probably remember from my first video that I said that the nicobarosis were a great start species because they're easy to look after, providing you get the temperature right, and they're very forgiving for, for beginners. Um, and I can tell you some of the mistakes that I made as a beginner um, where my nicobarosis thrived with uh, even with those mistakes compared to other species which wouldn't have done so well if you look to the center of the screen by the windows of the building you'll see that that's a major and what major is it's larger than the other workers with a larger head um, and that's the great thing about polys for the beginner species is that they're polymorphic which means they have different casts and different size ants and you'll really see this with this species once they get established and get around five four five hundred workers and they'll start producing majors which is great for a start species I'm going to talk about my setup uh, and how I've achieved the numbers that I've got in such a short period of time. As Nikos are classed as an exotic species, which means they're not native to Europe, first in the UK anyway, um, they need a form of temperature control and humidity control. Um, and this is important because if you get that right, the brood will go from egg to adult with this crazy amount of time, something like 28 days, and you can have a full adult. So they grow really quickly. Now the best way to get the fast development of brood is by getting the temperature right because if you get that right then the brood develop quickly because the colder it is, the slower the development, the hotter it is, the quicker the development. But you need to make sure you get it within the ranges which I've just put on the screen. What I like about this kit is it's got a probe that goes into the nest as you can see here uh, and it gets accurate reading from inside the nest so we don't need to worry about temperature because it will turn it off automatically if it gets too hot and turn it on if it's too cold. And for $12.99 off eBay, it's cheap and reliable, and I use it for most of my ant setups. I use this next temp controller to regulate the temperature in my outworld. Um, I got it second hand with a kit, and I've got no idea how much it costs, but it's got the probe again, so it gives it the desired effect. What I don't like about this temperature control, it doesn't give me a digital display telling me the real time temperature inside the nest. So if there's a temperature spike due to the hot weather like we just recently had, I wouldn't know about it. So that's why I prefer the digital display ones. The nest area by far is the most important part of any nest because this is where the brood develop. If it's not right, the queen won't lay eggs and the brood won't grow. The nest I use for my Nikos is the Ants Canada Campanotus hybrid nest. Now, this product is brilliant. Um, it's designed for Campanotus, so it, all you need to do is put water in the hydration area and it's designed to give the right humidity for them. So yet again, when it comes to low maintenance, this is what you want. I don't need to worry about humidity and because I've got the temp controller, I know my temperature's right. So all I need to do is make sure that it's moist or got some water in the uh, hydration area and it's good to go. Uh, it's a really good bit of kit. Outworlds can be whatever you want them to be. If you want to spend a lot of money like I have with this setup, you can, but if you want to do it cheaply, just watch my first uh, video, a tour of my ant cave, and you'll see that I've used Chinese takeaway boxes to put some of my ants' outworlds in. So you can spend as much or as little as money as you like. Here I'm recording my glass outworld, which is a good quality bit of kit from the ant store in Germany. And um, because it's glass, it's clear, and because it's flat, I can get decent images. But unlike the Ants Canada outworld, which I've got in the background, it's curved opaque glass, so it's not great for recording, hence why most of my videos are from this outworld. But it's still a good bit of kit, just a bit overpriced with all the exports and import costs. If you've got your temperature and humidity right, the only thing you need to worry about now is a barrier. Now, even if you've got a sealed container that you're answering, trust me, every time you try to feed them, they will escape and crawl up everywhere. So it's important you put a barrier on. Now, I like to use this um, fluid, uh, liquid amp barrier, sorry, by Ant Boy UK. It's really good and it's also humidity resistant. So if you've got humid ants that like humid environments, this won't degrade like PTF or Fluon. It's really good stuff and I use it on pretty much all my outworlds now. 
the great thing about this outworld is it's got a lip that's removable and I can apply the barrier to there. So if the barrier on the side fails, they generally can't get past this stuff to escape because it's, it's horizontal, so they fall off it. Now, as you can see, I'm applying it in a circular motion, making sure that I cover all areas because if there's a gap, trust me, ants will take advantage of it and try and escape. So you need to make sure it's evenly distributed and it covers all areas, as you can see here. Um, once that's applied, it normally lasts a while, but ants will get past just about any bar barrier eventually so you need to make sure that you keep an eye on it and if they are getting near the point of escape as you'll see in a second uh, they will take advantage and exploit it as you can see here the ants have managed to get past the flu on barrier i had before i replaced it with the liquid barrier from ant boy uk and they've started to attack this silicon base i mean apart from it being quite a good zoomed in video and you can actually see them cutting into it it's not something you really want and that's why i had an issue when i was replacing the barrier that they all got out because they're already at the top another reason to keep nikos for a starter species is because they're really easy to feed um, they only require two things, uh, some form of protein, as you can see here, I've fed them uh, a cockroach, which I've pre-killed, um, and carbohydrates, normally in the form of sugars. I tend to water down some honey and feed that to them. Cockroaches are great to use for protein because they're packed full of the stuff. They're easy to look after. You can buy like a hundred for 10, 10 pound or something like that. And all you need to do is get a little plastic fish tank for like seven quid, I think it was. Um, put fruit and food in there and I quite happily uh, live there. Then when you need them, pull them out, kill them and fresh, kill, uh, fresh, feed, fresh feed even your ants. As you can see here, I've done a little time lapse and just see how quickly they're drinking that honey, honey water. I, I think it's a 1.5 milliliter bottle and within 30, 45 minutes it was practically gone. They just consume honey water at a rate of knots. It's always good to remember that when you keep these guys that they do have a high requirement uh, for honey water, so make sure they've got plenty of it. A common question you get on most forums uh, about ants is people asking how often do you feed your ants? Well, my Nikos, I've got no idea how many workers they've got, but I'm guessing I've got well over a thousand plus. And I feed them roughly two to three medium to large cockroaches every two to three days uh, and also replenish the honey. But the truth is, is if it if they've eaten the uh, cockroaches, and I'll stick some more in. Because don't forget what I said about these guys, that they grow really quickly so they've got a really high requirement for protein and with loads of workers as well honey as well at the moment well that's about it for me today then guys i hope you like the video um i covered quite a lot today um i'll probably bring out another video soon about my nikos but if you did like the video please like subscribe uh, and leave a comment and tell me what you want to see next from my Connollys.